Hey, YouTube family. How you all doing? Hope you are being safe and healthy out there. Anyway, lately, there's some mysterious noise that I can hear from the car when I'm driving. It's random noise, too. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. But let's, let's check it out. And hopefully you all can learn how to uh, troubleshoot the noises and save yourself money. Even if you don't do it yourself, at least you know what's going on. All right. Yep. If you can hear that noise. See, I already checked all the engine mount. They're all good. Only the, you can hear that knocking. So the only thing left is either suspension or steering system. A lot of times steering and suspension are pretty much tied together. So kind of hard to troubleshoot. You have to jack it up in order to know, find out what's wrong. See how I turn and stop? You hear that? So it could be steering system or it could be the the um, bow joint. Well, hopefully that's what caused all that noise. You know, all these uh, suspension uh, component, they're not supposed to be have a, a lot of movement at all. Not some allow a little bit, but you know, this car is almost 200,000 miles. So there's a lot of wear and tear on it. You know, you know that, that uh, sway bar link, you know it go up and down along with the shock strut, right? So. You talk about multiple thousand, thousand, hundred and thousand of time move up and down and twist and turn. So it had to wear out eventually. Luckily, it's a cheap component. I mean, the most expensive one is like mm, 20 something. That's the most expensive. And the mid range is 12 or something. And then the cheapest one is like $5 or something. I usually go with the mid range. So I think total. When you chain something on a suspension, you have to chain them in pair. 
and uh, so I bought two of them total shipping everything about 26 bucks hopefully that will fix my problem anyway thanks for watching hopefully you all can learn how to find noises and save yourself money even if you don't do it yourself at least cheap of course that I was uh, lucky uh, if it was a sock strut because there's a strut mount on the top which is rubber also around it if that thing wear out and make it will make that kind of noise also and you're looking at around part alone itself probably if you're gonna do it yourself it's it'd be about a hundred something dollars just for part and there's a lot of labor involved into that so if you to hire somebody you're looking around five six hundred dollars just to, to remove and replace the strut like i said when on suspension you have to chain them in pair anyway take care and i see you in the next video bye now